channel. I'm Symphony and today I'm going to be giving you a very quick review on the dress that I have in my hair today. As promised, I told you that I was going to do three different styles for my 90 day hair challenge and uh, featuring different crochet styles. So this is the third one and I'm into my, my third series of this uh, 90 day hair challenge. So if you guys are interested, please stay tuned. The hair that I have in my head today is the Natty uh, Goddess Dreadlocks by the New More Collection. This is what the package looks like. Hold on, let me get the package. This is what the hair looks like. This is also the same uh, company that I, well, the same brand of hair that I used when I did my Senegalese twist when I first started my 90 day crochet hair challenge. Um, so that's one of the reasons why I decided to go with this brand. Also, um, what is the young lady's name? Her name is I Madam J. I, I came across her video and I love the wavy texture of the of the faux lock. So that's another reason why I was prompted to get this hair. I purchased four packs and I received eight because uh, the hair was buy one get one free at samsbeauty.com. I do not know if the sale is still going on, but I will leave a link in the description box below so you can go and check that out for yourself. Um, this is what the package looks like. The hair is 16 inches long and it is 100% connectalon fibers. It also says that it is hot water activated. So I'm assuming that if um, you dip it in hot water that it will either get straight or I guess if you uh, put them on flexi rods or braid them together, then the hair will wave up, which is also a good thing because some of my dreads um, has, has lost its wave pattern and I do not like that. I want them to be wavy like they were when I first took them out the pack. This is what the hair looked like before I installed it. It had really nice waves to it. So I don't know, I guess it's the humidity. I don't know what's going on. I don't know if it's the, the heat or what outside that caused the waves to um, to kind of fall. But I am going to braid them up and dip them in hot water to get the waves back. I used four and a half packs for this style. And it only took me maybe about an hour and 15 minutes, an hour and 30 minutes to complete. Um, as you all know, if you have watched my previous videos, I do not braid my own hair. Uh, but my braid pattern is the same. It's like a zigzag braid pattern in the back and then I have, I think, 10 to 12 braids in the front going to the back and it is a connecting braid across the top. So that is uh, the braid pattern that I choose to go to because I like my dreads or my braids to, uh, to lay a certain way. I did not choose to do any hair charms with this style because I am going to a, a conference later on this week and I did want to keep some type of professionalism to my hair and I didn't want anything distracting in my hair so that's why I did not do any hair charms with this style. What I will say is if you decide to do um, these goddess dreads, um, be very careful when you are installing them in your hair because the um, the hair is very soft. It is very lightweight, but the loops do tend to come unraveled. So you want to be very careful when you are sticking the hair through the through the loop. I plan on keeping this hair in my head for about a month because this is a low maintenance hairstyle and I'm hoping that it can get me through the rest of the summer or at least till school starts and so I figure out what else I want to do with my hair. But if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them in the comment section below. I will also leave all the information for this hair in the description box below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I will see you all in my next video. You all have a wonderful day.